afternoon, students. Today, we are going to talk about how we take a percentage or a percent of a number. So um, I'm using Christmas colors today or holiday colors because at the time of filming, it is almost the end of um, the semester. So the winter break is fastly approaching. Um, so the first thing we need to remember with percents is that the word percent, if we break down its meaning, it means for each 100. So for example, if I'm saying what is 25% of 300, what I'm really saying is for every group of 100, which in 300, there is three groups, right? This is saying 25 for each, we're just going to write that as one word, but for each, two separate words, for each 100. So if there's 25 for each 100 and there is three groups of 100, 25 times three is 75. So that means 25% of 300 is 75. And we use percents of numbers and things like if we're taking a discount or if something is being marked up or if we're somewhere and we want to tip our server or you know, wherever we're at, because we had good service. Um, if we wanted to tip or if we're taking a percentage, right? Like this is where we would use it. So if someone's like trying to tip their server 25% and they went to a really fancy dinner and spent $300, which is a lot of money. Um, if they wanted to like give them a really good tip, they would tip them $75 on top of what they're already paying. So that's a really high tip, but that if you have good food and good service, like maybe that's what you want to do. Okay. So <clears throat> Um, not all of the numbers that we take a percentage for are going to be groups of 100, right? So here's how we do it no matter what kind of number we are taking a percentage for. The first thing is we want to multiply the percent by the number. So we're going to multiply by the percent number. So whatever the number is of the percent, like 25 we did here, we're going to multiply it by the number. Then the second thing we're going to do is because percent is for each 100, remember when we were writing it as fractions, it was out of 100, you know, like with, with whatever the percent was goes on top. Okay. Remember the fraction bar means to divide. So the second step is we're just going to divide by 100. So this is the way to do it without decimals. You're welcome. You're welcome, because decimals sometimes are not that fun to work with. Um, the other option is you can convert your percentage into a decimal and then just multiply your number by your decimal. That either way, this way that I wrote down here and the way that I just described is, is also correct. Um, if you don't want to work with decimals, then do this. So let's try some examples. We have three examples. We're going to take 15% of 60, 3% of 12, and we're going to go backwards. We're going to try to figure out what percent of 15 is equivalent to 5. So 15% of 60. The first step is I want to multiply by the percent number. So I'm going to do 15 times 60. And then the second step is I'm going to take that number and divide it by 100. So I'm just going to kind of set up one problem just like this. So if I do 15 times 60, that is 900. And then if I divide 900 by 100, that is going to be equivalent to 9. So 15% of 60 is 9. So like if you're somewhere and you want to tip um, your server 15% and you're spending $60, you would tip them an additional $9. Or if you're somewhere and they're saying, oh, you have 15% off of your purchase. And if your purchase is $60, 15% off means you could take $9 off of that total. That's the discount. Um, okay, let's try another one. 3% of 12. So again, I'm going to take the percent number times what I'm taking the percentage of. So 3 times 12. And then the second step is I am going to divide that by 100. So 3 times 12 is 36. 36 divided by 100 is going to be a decimal because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. But since it has a denominator of 100, it's pretty easy to put it as a decimal because if I think about the hundredths place, that is just going to look like this, 0 0.36. So a lot of times, if it is a small percentage, like 3%, it will have a decimal involved. Like, for example, taxes. When you go to a store, Texas has a very high uh, sales tax. We have to pay 8%. But other places, it might be something small, like 3%. So if you're buying something that's $12 and they add on a 3% tax, they're going to tack on an additional 36 cents to your total. So there's an example. Okay. Let's work backwards. What percent of 15 is equal to five? Well, I'm still going to set up my problem, but let's just use X to represent what we don't know, right? Let's set it up like an equation. So X times 15 divided by 100 is going to be equal 
to five. So all I did is put the number times what I'm, the percentage that I don't know, times the number that I'm looking at divided by 100. But in this case, I have my answer. What I kind of squared up here, this is what I actually have. So um, in order to solve for X or for the missing percentage, I'm gonna look at what kind of math is happening and use my good old trusty pose to solve. So if I am dividing by 100, I can multiply by 100 on both sides in order to get rid of the 100. So I'm left with 15X equals uh, 500. So I use the multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides. I'll just write MPO up there so you remember. And then to solve, I'm gonna use DPO because 15 times the percentage is equivalent to 500. So if I divide both of these by 15, I kind of am running out of room. Um, the number that you would get if we were to solve this is actually a repeating decimal. It's 33.3 repeating. So that means that your percentage is 33.3 repeating percent. So um, this is the same as one third. So if we do 15, if we take one third of 15, that's five. That makes sense because three groups of five make 15. So as a percentage, it's 33.3%. Some of y'all may have been able to figure that out without doing this, but this is kind of the work we would show if we were unsure what percentage of a number is equivalent to something else. So to practice, you have three practice questions, um, very similar to ones that we just did here. So your three practice questions are going to be the following, you have 37% of 600, 5% of 45, and what percent of 27 is 13.5? This one you might be able to do in your head, but please set up the equation to solve so that way you practice it. So for ones that are not as obvious, you understand the steps. You can check your answers in the table of contents. And as always, have an awesome day.